Welcome to Viva guys. Today we are in Barrio Sarawa. Um, uh, we are actually here, I'm actually here uh, for a CSR project uh, by Volvo Trucks for the local community here. And uh, we're going to take a bit uh, more in-depth look at that. And also the uh, local community, the collaborate community in uh, Barrio Sarawa. Uh, I don't know if you know where Barrio Sarawa is. Uh, we'll share all that information with you. So come and join me as I share my experience in Barrio Sarawa, one of the most beautiful places I have seen in today's Viva. So let's go. Barrio, located in Sarawa, lies 3,500 feet above the sea level in the northern eastern part of the Borneo state. Now, Baru is inhabited by the Kalabit people, one of the minority Orang Ulu tribes in Sarawak. They have been living here for the past 4,000 years. Now, this place surely gives you a friendly and homely vibe, as it is also known as the land of a hundred handshakes. Yup, that's true, because everybody shakes your hand and are very friendly. Now, there are three things you need to know about Barrio. The rice, the awesome scenery, and the wonderful people. Now, 500 tons of rice is produced every year and a portion of it is sold in Sarawak. Now, I have personally never felt so much at home with the kind and warm hospitality given by the people here. Now, Barrio is a beautiful place with amazing scenery and the highlands here give you a wonderful backdrop for a small, quiet and humble town. Now, what does Volvo Trucks have to do with the Klabit people? Well, they have something called the Seasonal Gift Program, which is Volvo Group's corporate social responsibility effort, which is carried out globally to help support local country social causes. Now, Volvo Trucks is giving back to the Klabit community here through that program in two ways. Now, the first is building a firefighting system for the oldest longhouse here, which in this case is the Barrio Asa Lemba Longhouse, as settlements here date back to 1958. Now, this gives the settlements an important safeguard as there have been many cases of longhouses being engulfed in flames, which led to loss of life and property. Now, with this firefighting system, the longhouse would be the first of its kind to have this system installed in Sarawak. Now, the second thing Volvo Trucks has done is build eco shelters along the Barrio Ancestral Trail. Now, this ancestral trail is the trail leading up to Batulawi, which is a significant part of the culture and history of the Barrio and Kalabit community. Now, the trail is a five-day hike and around 25 kilometers long, so there are five eco-shelters that have been built on the trail. Now, these shelters will definitely appeal to hardcore hikers and tourists who love nature and have some place to take shelter when going on to the trail. Now, so Volvo had a launching ceremony of the handover of the firefighting system and the eco shelters to the Klabi people and I'm sure the Klabi people are truly grateful for Volvo Trucks and their wonderful contribution to Barrio. We were also asked to join in the festivities that night and were treated to great performances by the locals and some of us as well. Now I want to talk about my experience in Barrio and what my adventure was like. Well the trip to Barrio was something new as after touching down in Miri Airport, I had to take a small twin otter plane from Miri to Barrio, which is a 15-minute flight. Now, this was my first time on a small plane like this, and it was not bad as I thought it would be. Now, the view was amazing, and when I reached Barrio Airport, we were greeted by a small, cute airport. Now, me and the media team stayed in Barrio Asa Longhouse, which was one of the biggest ones in Barrio. Every meal was cooked first by the local people there, and the food was delicious. Now, one of the most interesting experiences I had there was when we decided to take the ancestral tale to one of the eco shelters. Now, we were informed that the trail would take about five to six hours. Well, it took us 11 hours. The most unbelievable 11 hours I have faced in the jungle. Now, everything started out well with great views of the mountains and of course, a lot of selfies and pictures. Then things became a bit interesting as we had these guys, leeches. We managed though to rest at a beautiful waterfall for lunch and reach the eco shelter in the evening. 
Now these eco shelters were built very basically with bathrooms and a nice balcony. The trip back ended us with hiking at night with very minimal light but it was a blessing in disguise as we saw this when we looked up. What a view. All in all, what a trip. A wonderful experience for me as I experienced the great culture and heritage of the Klabe people and of course the beautiful barrio landscape. We'll surely come back for more next time.